Hello my warriors, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech, where we are playing some more missions today and we have that King Crab that we had almost lost last time in repairs and it takes 25 days to get that thing done. However, we didn't lose any single component. It is just armor damage. I just quickly want to point that out and uh, it means that we are just not gonna play that mech for a while. However, we have some other mechs that I want to bring in today and I have the feeling that we kind of need the Proteus. We need to build that thing somehow. I don't know how yet, but we will build that thing in a way. Uh, we're gonna be protecting... Oh my god. Uh, oh my... That's the, the barracks, I guess. Yeah, we get a bit of... Ooh, attack point penalty. Not good. But I want my mech warriors to be protected. Absolutely. So, here we go. 20 days for the king crab. Well then. Well then. Let me go ahead and go to the mech bay real quick, because we can't possibly make the Proteus combat ready with just a few adjustments and, um, you know, just give it something that it can dam deal damage with. So, this is fine. This is We're gonna keep all of this Rack 2, Rack 5 thing. And we're gonna, you know what, we're gonna add another Rack 5. Bam. That's what we do. And then we're gonna add the missiles that I was talking about earlier. We got two 15s. We got a 20 and a 10. Okay, this is actually too much already. Hmm, interesting. Uh, very, very interesting. Do we even keep the Rack 2s? That's my question right now. We might want to do that. It only takes us one day to build this thing. This is really good. So what about that? What about we're gonna add some missiles on this mech for the moment? Why not? Yeah, I like it. And in order to get some accuracy on this, we will add lower Omnis. Yeah, we're gonna drop the rocks here. I don't think that they are great. I don't like Rock 2s at all. Uh, we're gonna drop some lower Omnis. Add these to the arms for higher accuracy. Still only takes us one day. This is insane. So there's that. I don't know about the command console though. I mean, it's good to have that, but is it needed? That's the big question here. They're running proto heat sinks, that's great. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, let, let me let me make a build here. Let me do something about it. We only have a 300 rated fusion core, which means that we should go for a long to mid-range build in general. Which then again means that we need some kind of... Ooh, honestly, you know what? We'll take the Ultra Auto Cannon 10 now. Yeah, I like that idea. I had that on a different build earlier, but... I do believe it's really, really good on this one here. In terms of ammunition, what do we take? Also, we need a bit more heat management. Let's take a look at our LRMs. We can go with... This could be an Artemis build, actually. Follow the leader, SAM. Let's put one bin of SAM in there, because it's SAM is anti-air stuff, by the way. Uh, gives us negative accuracy, but plus four accuracy against uh, VTOLs. So that's the way to destroy them. Mm, this might be a bit of dead fire. This might be probably Artemis. Okay, let's take a look at our targeting computer options. We have Artemis, we have improved, we have missile. In general, it doesn't look that great. But I'll take, you know what, I'll take Artemis here. No, I don't take Artemis. I know what I'm gonna do. I'll take this one here. No, this one here. Yeah, negative one recoil. I like it. And then we have something like a DNI or enhanced imaging. It's gonna be enhanced imaging, right? So that gives us higher gunnery. And for the sensor, we'll take a tracker sensor. And then we have some gunnery upgrades that we are also taking. Also, turret mount, not bad. Let's take gunnery A, let's take gunnery B. Still only one day of building. This Omnimax, guys. Omnimax are incredible. So where was our turret mount? It's also an exchanger. So let's put the turret mount over here. All right. Also, let's put the bigger missile launchers there. Because we have three hard points here that we could utilize. Oh, that's interesting. That is very interesting. We can put that down here. So now we have 35 missiles. But we can make it 40 that are benefit... Uh, that will benefit from the turret mount. That's really good. So, LRM there. Also, there was something about an exchanger. Let's put that exchanger in here so we have no heat problems. Great. 
And I think I do want some more proto heat sinks, so let's put them in here. Also, we were not done with our ammos yet. That's fine. All right. Oh, and then an ECM. Angel seems good. Period. Or a Guardian. I like Guardian a lot because it gives us the uh, ECM shield with a strength of 3. That's honestly pretty solid. And then a Clan Active Probe even. Maybe. The Watchdog Suite. Oh, I like that. I like the Watchdog Suite here in combination with a Guardian ECM. Let's take that. Oh no, Watchdog is... Ah, it's a combined one. Wait a second. We get two ECM shield and a two jammer, but negative accuracy. And we take Watchdog. Should we take Watchdog? No, I like my plus one defense here. Yeah. So a Guardian is actually really, really good. And then I'll take um, some kind of active probe. I'm taking a clan active probe. Perfect. We still have a lot of weight to work with. So let's, you know, think about that in a second. Uh, also, it's probably better to take engine heat sinks instead of the external one. That's how we're going to manage that. And then I wanted to go back to missiles. We need ammo. Let's go for it. Sadly, we don't have any good ammo types yet. I'm going to drop two bins of incendiary. Why not? And then a bit of regular ammo. Oh, I wanted that targeting computer. Of course. To put... Artemis in here, which we don't have. Oh, no. Oh, no. We don't have that. Is it still the best option that we have here? I mean, this is an improved shot, improved cold shot modifier by 20%. It's really good. It is really, really good. But I have the feeling that this ballistic targeting computer would help us out so much more. Or maybe even just the improved one. Interesting. Can we take another ballistic weapon? I think we don't need to. I want to check one more thing. We have a bunch of MRMs as well. And we have an MML as well. That is a 6 ton missile weapon that is also pretty, 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 pretty good. Alright, let's add it here. So the mech is full now. I'll drop the laser AMS, by the way. And we need a bit more heat management. Uh, yeah, the mech is full, but we still have tonnage left over. Which brings me... We can also lose that thing. Which brings me to the point of... How am I gonna finish the build? So we got four tons. I don't know, honestly. I just don't know. I like the turret mount here. This is looking very good. In terms of ammo, I think... We are kind of done. I'm also thinking about a mask. Maybe this MML is not what we want. Seriously. Maybe this is not good enough. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We will get there, guys. We will get there in a second. I'm still thinking about more ammunition. And then... Yeah, oh, the targeting computer. So, the targeting computer that we have, we can actually upgrade with some battle computers. For long range... Enables targeting the head. Oh my god, we have a headshot targeting computer. I wasn't aware. We have that thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. With that, we can target head with offensive pushes. Huh. Interesting. That means if we go for that, we have a 20% base hit chance. Improved hit chance. We have 4% per targeting computer and we're gonna just stack them. Somehow. But not in this build. No. No, this is gonna be different. This is gonna be... Recoil. And two accuracy with ballistic weapons. So we get, we hit the ultra auto cannon more often. Alright. The MML is also not gonna be an MML. It's gonna be something else. Can we go for another ballistic that helps us out? Seriously. Or maybe it is two Rock 5 still. Or it is one heavy Rock 5. Uh, oh yeah, we cannot go for lower arms there, sadly. So it has to go over here. And then we are not using all of the missiles, but just these here. Having them on a turret mount seems good. And we are utilizing an Ultra Auto Cannon 10 and a Heavy Rock 5. 
with some LRM support. I like that. Alright, so that means that we don't need that much ammo. And yeah, we can we can really benefit from the ballistic fire control system. Do we have an upper arm actuator? Upper hardened only? Yeah, it's only upper hardened. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do then? I'll drop these LRMs over here on the arm. Put that on the turret mount so we have more accuracy. Alright, so it's an Ultra 10 and the Heavy Rock 5. Great. It's dead fire, it's LRM, it's incendiary. And SAM. Maybe not even that. Maybe not even that. I'm, I'm gonna think about my ammo count here. This looks like a good build already. Alright, I'm excited. Uh, let's go ammo, let's go rock, let's go... It's heavy rock 5, so let's take... We don't have it, right? Yeah, we don't have it. That was the problem earlier. No! <laughs> we don't have... Heavy rock 5 ammo. That's tragic, guys. That's so tragic. Let me try to find it. No, we don't. We don't see it. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <sighs> Fine. So, regular Rock 5 it is then. It's not as impactful, but I guess it has to suffice. 60 shots. Okay, it's good enough for me. Which means we can bring our LR we can bring back our LRM20. Uh, actually, let's keep that on one arm. Let's bring the 20 over here. That's that's the build, guys. This looks already very good. Also, this 15 can go on the turret mount, which is giving us more accuracy. And then we can put the 20 here. Yeah. All right. So that's that. Now we have one ton left over. We have technically all we need. We put the probes and the guardian in the center because they are well protected there. Do we need more ammo? Let me think. We shoot 30, 60 missiles each round, which means each bin is four shots. Sorry, two shots. Not enough. That's two, four, six, eight. We need another bin of ammo and then we're good to go. Okay. We got it out. That's how we do it. Do we have patchwork? Can we do that? I don't know. Let's definitely take another bin of ammo. I don't care what it is. It's probably gonna be like another regular bin of ammo. Yeah, let's take that. So it, it's not a good missile build, but it is just something that we can shoot on top of this here. And I'm gonna think about what I want to do with the mech a little bit more. It could be a combination of Ultra 10s and then Rock 5s or something. This is definitely way better than what we had before. 100%. Alright guys, I'm excited. We have a new mech. It's called Proteus. It takes one day to build it. Dead Eye is out of action for four days. But we have enough mech warriors anyway. Speaking of, let's also take a look at them because we can probably upgrade some and we kind of get some more skill points on them. For example, Adrenaline. You know what? I'm gonna give him tactics. Tactics over everything here because we get higher initiative and more sensor range, right? Yeah, sensor range. Seriously good. Dust Raker, I don't care about you so much. No, not yet. Funnel Web? Also no. Oh, Funnel Web wanted to be a sensor specialist. Let's give him that. Great, and now we can actually push to gunnery here. Well, let's see. Geezer? Hey, old man. Alright, let's go for that. I like that he's also slowly but surely grading his, uh, upgrading his pilot skills. Uh, speaking of... I definitely need higher tactics here. This gives us recall penalty reduction. This is really good. Alright. Aldra is getting... Higher tactics? I need to get everybody to tactics 9, so it doesn't matter where I put them. In terms of headshot potential... Uh, sure, you're gonna upgrade some guts. Oh, guys, I'm excited. I want to play the next mission with this new mech. I want to see how it does and how it performs and how good it is and what we can do with it. Um, That is going to be also tactics. I like that initiative bonus. Really good. So, here we go. Punisher. Rain is done. We have Strider. Oh, also, yay, look at that. Wait, Strider is... Not really needed to get the tactics, but it's sometimes nice to have. There we go. 
So there was Strider. We have so many people here. And then there is Yuki Onna. Yuki Onna is getting that heat generation quirk. Cool. So here we go. Let's start our engines and let's play a mission. I was thinking about attack and defend here. Because we're gonna get some great value out of that. And we are still in the process of building things, so... Let's go, go for that. Let's take a bunch of things that we can, you know, salvage from the battlefield and add them to our mechs. Also, Atlas is back. That's great. I'm gonna take Strider. Is everybody else ready? I mean, these people are still learning. They're still doing things. And I need somebody really good on the Proteus. That's good. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Soon, we will have four King Crabs in this slot here in the alpha lands four king crabs and then like all of the stone rhinos and atlases on the other lands guys we are still in the process of get it, gathering more assault mechs and uh we got to kind of find the balance between items that make our mechs that we have right now stronger and then items that are kind of mech parts that we need to build some new mechs together so we got to find the good balance there and um currently i'm kind of in the process of you know finding more Honestly, Rock 5 ammo, heavy Rock 5 ammo that already upgrades a build that we have on the King Crappy on the Proteus. And other than that, I don't know, clan equipment. I think clan equipment is what we are looking for. And it's really nice if we occasionally find a clan mech, but I don't necessarily want to dive into clan space already because I am still on the hunt of super heavy mechs and I want to get them. So let's try to find them. All right, anyway. That being said, attack and defend here on the urban environment is a little bit tricky because sometimes you have enemies spawn directly next to your base and then they will just destroy that thing. So it's really nice to have some mechs that are really aggressive and they're pushing in and trying to destroy the enemy's base because then the reinforcements will stop. And some of them might be staying a little bit behind, probably the artillery mechs that can then intercept in, in any direction and, you know, just do whatever they want to do to make the enemies that are dropping um, hot or kill them directly so that they cannot destroy our buildings. They are so squishy. These buildings are made of nothing. But yeah, let's go. These loading times are getting longer and longer. It's quite weird. Hmm. But that might be because I'm currently in a pretty long uh, period of uh, recording. So I'm, I'm having a real big recording session going on right now. Which means there might be some memory leaks. And the longer I have my, my application active, the more it takes. I don't know. But yeah, it's also the urban environment taking a lot of time to load the assets here. Yeah. So... Another thing that I quickly want to address is that we are kind of very much in the late game and they had a comment lately that was like, yeah, your videos are not really that different from one another anymore. You have like the same tactics, you have your mechs figured out. It's not really interesting for me to watch that anymore. I want you to give me some info on that. Is that the same for you? Uh, because if so, we could either start from scratch or... I don't know, play something completely different or so? Leave a comment down below. Um, I, I'm thinking, I'm in the late game now and I really want to play that late game a little bit more because we haven't found super heavy mechs yet. I mean, we didn't get one yet. And um, I still want to try to get that thing done before we start from scratch or something like that. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Because I really value your input. Because, I mean, you are the people who are watching the videos and I'm producing the content for you. So, let me know what you think. Here's the base. The attackers are... Oh my god, a re Ooh, on the right side. Mm-hmm. Alright. I think I want to take my new mech. And... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, put it here over to the right side. So that it can intercept. Aye, aye. Speed of that is atrocious, by the way. So, mask on. It's taking a while until the mask is actually processing the the pips, the pips where we can actually go. And we sprint over here for three evasion, not bad. This Krabbo is a little bit too much on the front line. I'm aware. But it's okay. So, Ashless is also pushing into that direction so that we can intercept the attackers. Come on, more of that. Is that all? Alright. 
position. We're not that fast. Stone Rhino is orientating a little bit more to the left. Conquistador. Same thing. All right, let's get down to it. Anand. Nice angle. And then there's the avatar with that kind of weird setup, but it's working, so we're gonna put it over here. Yep. And then the vulture. Also trying kind of going into the center so we can intercept on both sides. Alright, and now we got active combat. Let's gonna you know what? We're gonna wait for them to come a little closer. I see a battle master. Alright. So, first enemy of the day. It's an assault mech. It's not the best one, to be honest. <gasps> oh, did you see what I saw? Yeah, these guys are attacking the buildings now. This is gonna happen. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh my god. This is a Mackie. No, wait, this is the Battlemaster. But that, my friends... Do you see what this is? It is a Marauder. And it's a special one. Oh my god, I want it. I want it. I want it so bad. Guys, we haven't get we haven't gotten that thing at all. We haven't seen this thing ever. And I want it now. I heard that they reworked it quite a lot, so it can now actually go uh, melee in a viable way. I think it comes with claws attached, and the tail is, I think, now a quirk or something. Uh, I want it. 100%. It's a xenomorph. Waiting for orders. Oh, a Proteus. Wow. And the Griffin. So, yeah, let's keep sprinting. Roger. I want to give him a target, and I want to shoot them. Hello. Don't shoot my buildings, please. Shoot my mechs. Headshot. Holy crap! Okay. Okay. It's a pretty good start, I would say. Holy macaroni. Um, enhanced imaging. Let's do it. And ideally, I can shoot... Yeah, this guy is stealth, obviously. Mm, ideally, I'm gonna shoot... Incendiaries here. I mean, we can shoot the building. We don't need to yet. We have um, 11 rounds to destroy the buildings. I'll go for this dude. It has to be done. It's 44 heat. It's not much, though. But hey, it's a start, and you know what? We have some artillery that can follow up on that. Urban mech in the back. Alright, shooting some... Oh my god, this is our carrier, by the way. We have an acid SRM carrier. Um, yeah, shooting some missiles is at our dude here. It's fine. Escatel, sensor locking the Griffin. There's another King Crab. Nice defense we're having here. It's an LRM urban mech. Interesting. So here's the Proteus. This is a Kraken. Oh no. This game is giving me all of my priorities uh, in one mission. Orders. This is gonna be really hard to choose. And, and I hate it already. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and shoot this dude. With a bit of EMP and Hydra. Here we go. Roger that. So, that'll heat him up and also prevent him from cooling down next round. Ready to rock. It's important that we are shooting indirectly here Copy all the that, time. Alright, and I, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just secure that. Secure that heat here. It also affects the battle master. And for me that just makes sense. So Marauder, now I need you to overheat. Somehow. How can I help? Alright. Let me think about what I want to do here. I think I want to kind of push forward. Oh, man. Really tough to get there, I think. Oh, I should have turned on enhanced imaging, by the way. So, our hit chance on LRMs is actually not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot Incendiary C on the Battlemaster, so we're gonna overheat him a little bit more. 
It's not much on Incendiaries, but we might tip him over, over his Heat Threshold there. It's also a Demolisher. Let's keep that in mind. Standing by. Okay, so King Crab on the right side. We still have Mask on. Which is good. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's go in like that. And try to attract some more fire somehow. It's incendiaries. LK? Let's go LK. Engaging with target. Hello Griffin, please attack my mech, not the building, because we need to keep that building alive. Alright. And this is where we go in. Mm -hmm. Moving the avatar to the front. We are shooting on side. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna go for the battle master because this guy is kind of stealth and we have a good chance on the battle master anyway. Let's go ahead and drop acid and then rock it up. Alright. So, more damage on the griffin. Dudes, I cannot wait to see the salvage screen in the end. I don't know if this Marauder is any good even. It's, it's pure speculation. I could just go with the Kraken and have a good time. Because we got some parts of it already and I want to build that Kraken. But... It looks so tasty. It looks so interesting. Okay. Understood. Moving fast. So is this Artemis? Or is this more Hydra? Oh, that's Artemis. Also, enhanced imaging. I should really turn it on every single round. Cool. So we got some additional heat, and that's because of our LRM5 pirates. They are a pirate LRM5s. They also generate one heat per. Oh, black carapace. All right. So you're self-repairing. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense there. I hope that he's overheating. And for that reason, I am... Um, um... Oh, I have an idea. Yeah, I'll do it like this. Okay. So, the Battle Master is gonna get some more damage. And I'm gonna shoot... Acid? Acid? Um... Standard... No, wait. No, 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 wait. This is all Acid. This is all Acid. And then Hydras. So this way, we're gonna deal serious damage to the Battle Master, as well as following up with some Splash. Good, that's good, that's good. Come on, give me the battle master. Inflicted some nasty on that dumb bitch. He's also unsteady, and we also have some splash heat on the Marauder X. Right. I was hoping to destroy the battle master actually. Oh well. Yeah, give him hell there. So. Mayhem. Mayhem still wants to wait for it. Let's reserve it. And see what this thing does. It should technically be overheating now. It also has a missile weapon? Interesting. I want to see the full loadout, guys. I want to see what it is, what it can do, what it brings to the table. Uh, it's really cool that we have so many carriers here and that they are also attracting fire. I'm listening. Yeah, Gremlin stays. Ready for orders. Yuki Ana. Move to the right side now. Armed. Yeah, let's do that. I want to see if I can kind of overheat this guy or give him just a bit of trouble. Acknowledged. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's a Hunchy on the side. Oh! Yeah, that's the first building down now. But it's okay, we have some more. Uh, three structures remain. That's not much, honestly. Right here. Mm -hmm. So, reserve it. Turn 19. This is the interesting turn now. Will he overheat? Will we get the headshots? I don't know. What's up, boss? You wait. Give him the turns. Overheat. Overheat. Overheat! Perfect. Alright, can't see through the heat. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not fiddling around too much with him. So either we get the headshot or we don't, but I don't want to stay too long here. Trying to get that single mech, you know. 
So if we are destroying that thing and only getting two parts, then so be it. Uh, that's bad. Oh, that's so bad. We need to put more emphasis on the right side of the battlefield, definitely. These attackers are really squashing our buildings. That's an overheat. Okay, I was hoping for ammo explosion there, but it's all, it's all right. It's okay. So we're gonna take our artillery max, the Vulture and the Stone Rhino, and put it more to the right side, definitely. This, this thing there must go. Okay, here we go. Ready for orders. It is Adrenaline's turn. The mask has a fail chance, we're gonna turn it off, we don't need it anymore. And if we just move, we have a better hit chance. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. So we could either shoot the Griffin or the Hunchback, but the Hunchback has more raw damage potential than the Griffin. Therefore, we're gonna try to drop him. And the MML is dropping. SRMs with Acid. And we will do Warlord. Yeah. Seems good to me. Let's do it. On the Hunchback. Ooh. We got some criticals here. Yeah, look at that. One LRM is destroyed. We got a medium pulse laser destroyed. He's also unsteady and overheating. I've got your back. But that's something. I want the Proteus in here so we can headshot. You know. Guess I shouldn't. Okay. So we will follow up on what we just did. <laughs> look at that range. Look at that for gotten enhanced imaging though um let's go standard ammo let's do war warlord because we can and we should and maybe we can kill here aye, aye. that is so good yeah we have a nice mid-range support right make here and the Hunchback is knocked down, so he's not gonna bother us anymore. He only has a medium pulse laser left anyway. I don't think he can destroy a building anymore. Uh, on the other side of the battlefield. Now it's getting interesting, guys. So we have enhanced imaging on and everything. Alright, let's get down to it. This is not the best mech to do it. Honestly. But let's see if we can drop it with Apollo. Nope. I mean, we kind of destroyed it. He's running Pirate Snub Nose PPCs. Uh, I don't know. There was there was something going on. All right. So Strider, ooh, is able to go berserk on this King Crab. Let's go. Drop that Proteus, please. I mean, we got that headshot earlier. It's kind of a waste to destroy that thing now with a melee attack. Target in for physical attack. But we got the core. <laughs> okay. Okay. Face plant. Yeah. Alrighty, that brings me to Gremlin. Let's see what we can do. There's an urban mech back in the in the back. Back in the back. That's where it is. We cannot really hit it though. So what we do is this. Yeah, without the chaff though. We could use these laser AMS as lasers. But they're out of range, sadly. No, it's fine. Not a kill. But that's what I actually expected. Yeah. There was so much lag where I'm like, wait, is something happening on top of that? And there was. There was something happening. Alright, let's turn on enhanced imaging. Let's go for the griffin. I think it's the Griffin that we are targeting here. Uh, the Kraken is too far away still. Sure, let's do that and also go Warlord on this. Oh, and there's a chance we kill. Engaging. A small one, but still a chance. Yeah, not even close, but we have a head hit, so next round we can follow up because of his lower initiative. That's great. Uh, still 20, still good. 
And here we go. Full throttle. Once more. A please. Copy that. Upper arm destroyed. I cannot target this guy, sadly. But we... No, we don't have the kill. We have another head hit. Damage. Holy crap. Commander. All the headshots today. That's insane, guys. Also, there was a demolisher somewhere. I shouldn't engage him with my... Ruck jammed. Yeah, not really. I'll pull back. And I will attack the buildings. That's the thing we can do. Here we go. All right, not a kill. We have what? Eight rounds? Yeah, eight rounds is what we have in terms of um, staying alive and killing these things before the reinforcements will arrive, guys. I'm on the clock. There's I'm mayhem. I mean, he could go for the demolisher. All right, I'm gonna wait. Commander. It's our end. Perfect. Hmm. Not quite perfect, but almost. So, what about that guy? I still believe that he is killable. Ugh. That doesn't look like a good hit chance, though. Alright, so I think... You know what? We're gonna shoot the Kraken with Hydras in the back. Engaging with Let's see what that does. Just making it so that he's not moving anymore. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Oh yeah, and then we have... Oh, we have Strider. Uh, and we could kill the Griffin. That's honestly a good idea. But we cannot kill it anymore. Only if we keep the Supercharger online. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I had it on. I had never had that. I, I didn't think it could happen, by the way. Uh, here's what happens. I had the supercharger on at a fail chance of 10%. I turn it off, then I turn it on again, and then I got the the fail. I thought if you had it on in the first place in this round, you can toggle it on and off, and you would just have the fail chance if you move them. Okay, fair enough. Really, fair enough. Nothing I can say against that. That was my bad. That was a thing that I just didn't know, but now I know. And we're gonna shoot this dude. Let's do it. A shot. I hope that we have a supercharger lying around to replace it, though. I'm on the clock. Okay. What do you want? Learn something new today. So I want this demolisher to come down again, so I can shoot it with my acid MRMs. That's the plan here on the Conquistador. What else do we have? We have these flyers and missile tubes here. I'm hoping that they go for really this guy. I'm hoping for the Griffin, honestly. But, okay. So, turn 19. Dudes, it is so good that they are going for my carriers. So, it, it means that they are not going for... Uh, for the buildings there. So, I need this guy to overheat a bit more. Inferno, Inferno... Inferno, and then Hydra. I really like the Stone Rhino as a mech now. It makes so much sense. It is a real good fire support with four LRM-10 clan, as well as two Mortar A, two Mortar 4. It's just the artillery mech. It's a, a great toolkit that we have at our disposal here. Okay, turn it on. Ready to run. So now we either destroy the Griffin, don't really have a hit chance on, or, you know what, I'll go for the call shot here, so that my friendlies can go for the Griffin then. And this mech also works. Ideally, I'd get some either Rock 5 Clan or another Ultra Auto Cannon 10. This, this thing is also pretty good. I'm very happy, I'm very pleased with the performance of the mech so far. Receiving you. Okay. Heading out. Hello, mister. Can I kill you? Not quite, but you're unevasive. If the carrier follows up now, 
which he doesn't, sadly. Then I wanted to say we could kill this dude. But hey, there's mayhem. What about the... Oh, the Demolisher did its thing. Okay. Right, let's check it out, guys. Yeah, definitely doing that. Definitely. Let's go. I dropped Apollo here for the clustering. I wanted to see if I could hit the single component as often as possible. And we did. So, he is also off the board. Barrier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the Griffin now. Either knocked down or destroyed. Perfect. So, he didn't get another turn. I like these mini achievements. Sometimes it feels good where you're like, okay, I have a plan now. I want to make it so that this guy doesn't have an active turn anymore. And then you kind of play around with it a bit and it kind of works. Really cool. Ow. So, there we go. That was a side to also destruction. All we need to do now is destroy one urban mech and then destroy four buildings. And I think we can easily do that. So let's go ahead and do it. Acknowledged. Okay. Do we have a hit chance on Irby? A little bit. It's 30%. But we are also able to destroy that thing now. Let's go for it. Let someone else that is closer with a better hit chance just alpha strike Irby. And the rest of these guys are just destroying the buildings. Alright. Actually. One sec. One second. If we move in here, we should be able to Artemis this guy. Also not. Wow. Crazy. So, it's that. Lots and lots of missiles, lots and lots of impacts. What are your orders, Skipper? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, Giza. Let's go. Roger, Skipper. Also, wait. It. Is he the one, the man that is gonna do it? Guided is 38%. We might be doing it. Hmm. I don't know, man. Let's go for Urban Mech. Oh, let's sensor lock him. Let's sensor lock him and then shoot him. I think this could be a thing. Alrighty. I also think that it's maybe worth dropping one acid bin first. Let's check it out. Let's see what you got. It's in a very incredible cluster there. Wow. Didn't expect that. that hit something good. All right. Friendlies following up. Not getting anything done, of course, because they are the friendlies. These allies are just bad. I'm on the clock. What do you want? All right, here we go. So we have some options. It's the other side that we are attacking, though. Oh god, I don't like it too much. Let's go warlord on that and do it anyway. Okay, here comes the acid. Oh, it might be a kill. Ooh, almost. Well, who needed salvage anyways? So, Irby, what's your plan? Are you gonna attack? Oh, wait. Our Cascatel is doing things first. Get him! Almost. No, wait. We have the knockdown. All right. That's the lag down, guys. Uh-oh. This is another case of we're gonna manipulate his initiative so he's not gonna do anything anymore. And yeah, he's getting the fall damage, getting another yeah. side towards the destruction. That is just that. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, I'm gonna, yeah, let's do that. Here Shoot this go. here. We also get a bit of splash damage coming from the chaff, but I think it's not enough to destroy the building next to it. Target destroyed. No, that's fine. Yes, it is. Standing by. Confirmed. Really? We get an we get an angle? Oh that's cool. That's actually really cool. So, all of the structures are down. The only thing we need to deal with now is an urban mech that is lying on the ground. Nothing else. How can I help? Oh, and I have somebody who is really eager to do that. Accelerating to Here comes Proteus. 
This is good. This is really good, guys. This mech works. It's a bit slow, but it, it has options, and that's what I like. So therefore, having these LRMs so that we are relevant in any stage of the fight is super, super good. I need one bean of Hydra. Maybe two. And then we have everything we want. So that we have an, like an early, like the, the very first two turns. We're just gonna drop Hydra everywhere and then we move forward and just kill. Imagine that. You have... You have a... a, in, a, in, a in a cinematic way, you have that lance of mechs just firing everything, guns blazing, and everything's on fire. The whole city is burning and then they are stepping through the smoke and then bam, 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 shooting the rotary autocannons while other mechs are struggling with the heat and it is, in my head, it's really working right now. So that's cool. Salvage, guys. That's the problem. That's a real problem. <sighs> I want the Pirate King Crab. It's not a problem because we destroyed everything so much that we can only take one part anyway. I need another Proteus. These guys are amazing. I love them. They are so good. And I'll take the Marauder thing. I'll take our Pirate Queen Crab. Queen Crab. Pirate Queen Crab has two of each hard points. Maybe it's not even worth building them. But hey, let's check it out. There's a heavy MRM. Yeah? Okay. What's a Pirate Rock 2? How often can you shoot them? Oh, they shoot a barrage of 5 per default, but you can select 1 to 6. Okay. So it's a regular Rock 2. But what's the feel about them? They have a damage variation. Okay. Misfire chance. Alright. Someone junk had welded a couple AC2s together, linked their triggers, and added additional feeding bells. I have no idea what that does. Hmm. Okay. Pirates not PPC. Oh, it's a scatter PPC. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, that's that's nice. Shoots 15 damage times 5. Okay. Heavy directional jump jets. It's more death from above damage. Ah, interesting. And death from above accuracy. Was that on the Marauder? Might have been. It really might have been. Let's see if we can find some other parts that were there. Okay. Okay, that's death from above damage. It's a it's a pouncer. Yeah. 10% more damage, and that's uh, less self-damage taken. That's pretty good. Bunch of proto heat sinks. We are not doing that, though, by the way. I'm not going for it. I like the idea of having some more heavy MRMs. Why not? Why not take that? Bit of acid, bit of... Maybe even extended range. Or we take the other MRM-40. Or we take money, because that's also a thing that we have to take care of. The fusion core, 340, gives us two and a half mil. Something like that. Hmm, there's a lot of interesting stuff on the board. I like this here. I like another heavy MRM, honestly. But I also like all of that. Okay. We'll take the ammo over the MRM, by the way, because ammo is sometimes really hard to come by. Anyway, light PPC plus capacitator. It's good value for us. We'll take it. I will sell it. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. Yeah. Core. Core. Nice. We get the death from above damage ones. Okay. Okay. And then some, some ammunition. Alrighty. Let's take a look at the mech bay. There might be a chance that we are actually building another king crab together. And it's gonna be the pirate one. Which I believe, as far as I heard, has an interesting quirk. Something about autocannons, something about ballistics, something about that. So let's check it out. I want to see. I think it's something mm, recoil related. Which is interesting because you can probably do something with it then. I mean, lower arm actuators would be so good on that King Crab. So we can actually put weapon mounts on it. And then have, like, super recoil reduction, super high accuracy, and just shred everything with two heavy rock 20s. 
The good thing, uh, so th the benefit of these battle mechs is that we can upgrade the engine, so we can make them really fast. And that's the thing I should probably consider on one of my king crabs here. They are rather slow. But let's check it out. Yeah, there, there it is. I want that thing. I want to see what it does. Also, can we build anything else? No, we cannot. So, King Crab Pirate, how much is it? Holy, 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 holy. Um, sure, let's take that and the 009. Confirm that. Takes us 400,000 sea builds, and I just hope it's worth it. Here comes the Kraken. Let's do it. Please be in good shape, Mr. Kraken. It is intimidating. Interesting. Oh man, oh man, it looks very damaged. So Oh it has it has hands and it has lower arms. Yeah. This here, guys. We're gonna do that. Absolutely. So it is intimidating, which is great. Uh the engine is a bit of a problem because it takes a lot of money to build that thing. It comes with compo. It comes with lower arms, and this is what I was talking about. We can do that. And that. And that gives us negative one recoil and three accuracy with our mounted weapons, as well as a higher firing arc. It has a crack and fire control system. Two accuracy bonus with auto cannons, negative three recoil with auto cannons, negative 15% heat generated with ballistic weapons. We gotta do it, guys. So we either transfer the build of one King Crab to this, or we're gonna start building another one. I don't like the spiked helmet, though. I'm not a fan of that. Negative to gunnery, negative to piloting, but we get plus guts and negative tactics. It gives us an additional ton to work with, and an additional slot, I think. Can we replace that thing? We can! Boom, baby! Alright! All right, all right, all right. This is gonna be my new melee, uh, not melee mech, my new ballistic mech. Oh, hell yeah. I have the feeling we can make uh, the heavy rock build completely uh, jam neutral with this here, because we got so much recoil reduction. Look at that. We got two recoil reduction from, no, three recoil reduction from the fire control system. We got two here. Ah, sorry, it's only one. I think it used to be two. Also, do they stack? Or do they only work independently on each arm? I don't know. But let's say it's negative four. And we got negative two from... The piloting quirk? Skill? It's negative six. I think we can do it. I think we will be... Like, recoil independent. I like that it's intimidating. Also, it is uh, running a pirate, or it was running a pirate engine, which I might want to get here. It has a plus 40% run multiplier and uh, additional jump distance and all of that. Um, and it gets heat? 20 heat per turn when active, okay. We have one of these lying around, if I remember correctly. Making the mech fast. Also, not enough free slots. I. Oh, there we go. So we can do something like that. And then just add... Honestly, let's add a big fusion core, make the mech fast, and... Run in. With heavy rock 5s. And as soon as we get the rock 10s online, we're gonna run in with heavy rock 10s. That seems really good, guys. Okay, we, had, we don't have the money for it, though. So what we're gonna be doing now is we will start... Repairing it. Yeah. We will start repairing it. I want that king crab. Period. This is a thing. That looks so good. Too good not to take. And we got some missile hard points as well on that thing. So it's also very interesting. Alright. So, guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Battletech, Rogue Tech, and if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.